Okay, I'm not really in the mindset for this right now, but I figured I would do another update video just because it's been so long since I did one. And I figured I would talk about the database I use for a bunch of different images and uh, like resources for the channel. Basically, uh, on this other channel, the videos are just full of images because um, I don't show myself or anything. And I, I kind of realized I was using a lot of the same ones over and over again. There would be different ones, but a lot of the same stuff. And what would happen is every, t every week when I'd go into doing a video, I would be saving a lot of the same ones and you know, going online, looking for an image, then finding it in good quality and, you know, dropping it down into the timeline and all that. I realized that if I just had a big database, I could make this whole process easier for myself. And I think I, re I realized why I hadn't done it sooner is like the same mentality why just people, like, People in the places I worked didn't do these things that are going to benefit them in the long term. It's because in the short term, it's like, well, I've got a video to put out. And in the case of, uh, you know, where I worked at UPS, well, we've got numbers to meet today or, you know, whatever. Like, people would have all these good ideas for new ways to implement things or getting new equipment. But it was always like, well, we don't have time for that. We don't have money for that. So... Even though it will be a long-term benefit, no one was doing it. And I like I could never stand that, but I realized I was doing the exact same thing with my YouTube channel. So I've started a database just to fix that. And I think I could make it even more efficient by implementing some of my programming skills to, uh, you know, if I have a, an image, just basically put anything relevant in there in the metadata. And uh, then I can like search that stuff up and use it in my videos and I don't know, it, without getting too boring, that's basically what's going on there. But th there's like been a whole bunch of other things that it, applying this mindset of just like stopping and being like, okay, maybe there's a better way to do this. Or I've done this same stupid thing or the same mundane thing three times in a row or probably even more at some points, 10 times in a row with always thinking oh, I'll, I'll figure out how to do this quicker in the future. Right now, I just got to get it done. And it's like, instead of it being 10 times, if you just like jumped on that solution way earlier, you could have just like saved yourself a whole bunch of hassle. So like I do thumbnails and a lot, like the thumbnails are like compositions. I'll basically be like uh, clipping stuff from certain images and putting it against backgrounds, putting text on those and one of the things I was doing for basically the whole first year of this channel is uh, I would use this ancient program from like 2005, an ancient program I still had on my computer, to trace around whatever I wanted in images and clip them out and then put them in the composite image. And I'm like, why am I doing this? I know there's AI technology that basically will, like, you know, it will, it will be, you don't even have to tell it. It's going to kind of intuitively know what you want cut out for the image. And uh, th then you have that and you can make, just get to working on your composite with that. And I finally went ahead and did that. And it's like, man, the thumbnail for this video I did just came along so much faster because I finally did this. And there's one more thing. I know I wanted to mention in this, that that's like an example of that, of just like putting something off and like there's that, you're always like, oh, I could do this, but there's not time right now. I can't learn this new technology. I can't uh, go ahead and build this. And I can't think of that other example. But I think another thing worth mentioning is I know for me, and I'm sure this is the way for some people, when they get started on something, they kind of get boggled down with thinking that they have to do all that stuff in the beginning. And what I found is in the beginning, it's just best to like just brute force it. Uh, do whatever you need to do to get those videos done on a weekly or daily, whatever your basis is, just go ahead and do that. Because it, like... On paper, it makes sense to do all the organization ahead of time, but it's never going to work in reality. So you kind of just got to like go ahead and do it in the dumb way at first because that's the only way it's going to get done. But then at a certain point, once you know you're going to do this, like just 
kind of use common sense. It's like, you feel out, okay, am I actually holding myself back by not taking some extra time to organize things? And that's all I wanted to say for this one. As always, I hope the next update video will actually be sooner.